Hey? Just turn the audio down, otherwise we'll get copyrighted. That's it. It's oh. off, yeah? Otherwise, I'll have Frankie goes to Hollywood uh, having the video shut down. Oh, okay. It's all bollocks in it these days. Well, like you can do nothing without being shouted down. Yeah, but uh, if it, as has happened before, if there's an artist playing in the background while we're filming this, yeah, because some of them aren't making any money anywhere else. You, okay. can't, you can't blame them for sort of saying, well, no, you know, you're, you you're playing my song, that's got a value to it, so yeah. I want paying. I mean, you'd have to pay them, you just can't, you, you can't monetize the video. Yeah. But um, I, do, I do believe people should be paid. I can't, but, well, I can't charge people for playing the guitars once I've made them. No, but you... But Every you, time they play it, I can't yeah. charge them royalties for playing it. Yeah, but you, that's because you haven't agreed that kind of contract. If you agreed a contract where... Every time somebody played, they have, to, they, have to, they have to sort of fill in a form, but you just wouldn't tell them yeah. you tell us, would you? Oh, okay. <sighs> right, right, I just need a scrap of wood for a start. I've just got to well, test. I, well, I've got, I, need a, I need a rounding over thing, and I can't remember. Uh, with the advancing age, whether it's this one I use, because I've got so many roosters with different cuts of it. Oh, cheap shit, mob. Like this. But it's, um, that's, it's quite good, this. But it's just that. Hmm. So you just, you just did a little test? I'm just doing a test on the rounding over in this. I think that might be too severe for this. I'm not certain yet. That might need a smaller one. It's going to be uh, guinea that's pig. Quite a, that's a quite a rounding over, really, for a Telecaster. You don't normally have them rounded over that much. The edge, you mean? The back edge, yeah. Obviously, I've, gro I've grooved the front for for the edge binding. So this is this is the edge binding. Let's look at that bit there, see how it does that. What's that? How this bit, how that router bit actually creates that kind of uh, an effect. It's just there. a round, it's just a... Just a round cutter. But it seems to have like two stages, it's got this bit here. Well it's because it's an old piece of wood that's got oh, cut, okay. little well, cuts in it. Yeah, I see what you mean. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm using my tester piece. Yeah. Should have tried it on a, a flat bit, there's a, a flat not bit. Alright, yeah. uh, yeah, I'll do it on that bit. bit. This is maple as well, it's all... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's too severe, too much of a round in this guy. Yeah, yeah it is. Should be. Well, it isn't uh, too bad actually when you think about it. That's not too bad. That's a bigger roundness, yeah, slightly. Yeah, yeah. Not much. That's probably about the same. Yeah. No, in fact, this is probably this is probably more. This is less. Um, this is a flatter sort of. This way it's uh, been sanded. Somebody sanded it down. This is a G and L body. What idiot was that? It's come in sanded. Oh, you mean that's how it's coming out? I thought you meant you. Yeah. yeah. There's not not there, is so. I've got to I've got to prepare this myself now for spraying. Two holes. Yes. Why? Uh, yes. One for adjusting the back of the, the through to that. You know, it'll be a, oh, it'll yeah. be a screw in there. There it is. That's absolutely right. For tilting the neck. Yeah. Mm, that might be okay actually. That. I just take it back a, a notch. This was fourteen quid with a load of cutters. Uh, it's amazing what you can get these days. Very little mm -hmm. money, just because it's just a. It sounds quite good. The engine does. Oh. So you judge your you gear. What the, 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 the delight of the sound of the engine? Well, it sounds better than the uh, than the Bosch ones I use, but they are great. They are the little Bosch. You know, they're just for for engine. Great. Mm. I'm very pleased with the Bosch ones. Jolly good, jolly good. Yeah. <coughs> just, I think I'll just try this one now. Just reset it. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Yeah. Better. Yeah. That's fine. That is. Well, what do you normally do? What settings do you normally I, I use? It's about like I've just done. Why well, just do the same thing every time so you know where you are? I probably did, but it's just been rammed in a cupboard. 
and it's not really got the most ex exotic uh, setting up things. You just unscrew the handle a bit and wait for it to float down a bit. Well, I thought you'd just keep one that did that job. That's what I did. Said. I'm saying it's not very accurate because mm. I've been throwing it in a cupboard amongst all the rest of my crap. Hence, uh, somebody put a post on one of your videos on the last few. Yeah. Said, "Good God, how the hell can you find anything in that place?" I can find everything. That's strange enough. You can, yeah, yeah. I know where everything is. You just don't know what state it'll be in when you get it. No. Right, so I'm going to go for this now. Thought you missed that bit there. <laughs> well, you only, you only, yeah. you just forgot you'd done it. You looked down, doubting that you'd not done it. I just wondered what you were fucking you know, poking shit, your yeah, finger I have, at. Uh, I have actually done it. And then you looked up all smugly. But right, I think I'll have a break. Have you got a guinea pig issues here? Are you just warming it up? I've just got the guinea pig up as well. All right. Yeah. Ready for the pot. Right, move your face. Yes, that no one man let's have, a, let's have a pig mind. zoom in. Right. Little bastard. This is one of your pets, Doug. I know, it's still a little bastard. It's for no, it's is this the one that you, this, this one doesn't eat your hair? It's, no, that's not a, the hair one. That was Bernard. Yeah, what's this one called? It's all bees. Brian. Brian. So what have you had? Bernard, Brian. I bet you've Basil. Basil. Basil, yeah. Basil. I'm a Basil, yeah. Brian. Brian. Bernard. Yes. Battle. What else have we had? A few, haven't we? Mm. Uh, we had Bernard Basil, Brian, there's somebody else. There's another one before Brian. Was it Bruce? Bruce, Bruce. Bruce. Ah, yeah, Bruce, I remember Bruce, Bruce yeah. Was it? Yeah. It was Bruce. Yeah. Don't need a bucket there either. No, it's the coffee's just settling down. Right then, uh, go on then, tell us, show us what you're going to do with the... the this hedge bunny. Well, well, pretty first, obvious, isn't it, really? Well, I've got a sharp turn there on this. So, because this is slightly deeper than the modern ones, they're just oh, a see what mean. gentle curve. Why have you done it so sharp then? Because that's the 50s model. This is? Yeah, 52. Okay. This is shaped off. And I think they stopped doing that because it's because it's at all as the sand and everything else in that hole. So you can smooth it out and it still looks all right. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> what we've got to do to decide now in a minute is um, which neck I'm going to put on it. Oh, well, why have you got that heating gun turned on? What? Turned on. Why have you just plugged that heat gun then? I'm going to melt the plastic in this. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll warm it up a little bit to bend around that hole. Oh yeah. And then you're going to glue it on? No, I'm not going to glue it on yet. I'm do Why don't you just bend it when you're going to glue it? Because I'm doing it now. Is that enough heat, do you think? Eh? Is that enough heat? Yeah. There you go. Oh, so you're going to try and let it uh, try and figure out where, how it's going to bend yeah. and then set dry, yeah. uh, set cold. Yeah. Each, each bit, are you doing a bit at a time? Yeah. Hmm. I've tried millions of different glues, you know, mm. for these edge binding. Flour and water's probably the best, Doug. Flour and water, yeah, that's my favourite. Dozy sod. Um, with a bit of mum spit to uh, lubricate it. Yes, it monkey spit's fine. Mum spit. You know, when your mum, when you had anything wrong with you years ago. Yes, like I know. That was that, no, that was her fixing you. Sorry. They used to fix you with the spit. Mum spit. Yeah. Spit on handkerchief and rub it better. Yeah. That's the official way of doing it. Antiseptic qualities. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Mum's knew a thing or two, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, uh, people try and claim that dogs and cats have antiseptic tongues, but they don't really. No. 
Yeah. Utter nonsense. I think it's just that the human skin gets used to the urine and species being smeared all over it. Yeah. Becomes immune to it. That's it. I'll oh, see what you're doing there, Doug. I'm making a fool of myself. Shut up, you tart. No, the, you know, no. I had, when I bought my house in, in a long time ago in uh, Pankow, yeah. there was a carriage and there was a car in it, a three-wheeled car, and it was like a, a Reliant. I thought you said that was in... Uh, in um, Western Street in, in Pankow. Oh, I thought you said it was in... Uh, where do you used to live? I've well, lived everywhere. No, before you moved here. Pankow twice. I thought it was Clayton you said that you found Clayton. that car. No, no. No, that was in Pankow. No, no. Okay. Um, what kind of car was that? I don't know, I can't have forgotten what make it was, but it wasn't a Reliant. I just sold it anyway, because it was stuck in the garage when I bought the house. And I just sold it off for spares, I don't know what it was, I can't remember. I got. I must have got at least a, a fiver for it. You should have driven around, you would have pulled more checks. <laughs> yeah, hey. Hey. Could have doubled your, your pulling rate then. I needed you? the garage to fix me, me Cortina. Cortina. I had a Cortina GT. Oh yeah. Uh, and, would that be in Mark One? Uh, yeah. And um, it was quite nice, Mark One. No, it uh, was a smashing Mark car. Mark Two was quite nice, I think. It rotted. Everything rotted yeah. in them days. Yeah, it did, yeah. And the inner wings rotted, front inner wings, and so the uh, the shock absorber was shot out through the bonnet. <laughs> yeah. So I just got myself a gallon of um, resin and a bag of fiberglass. And uh, I think that ended up with about an inch thick fiberglass. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, but surely that wouldn't be strong enough to hold the shock absorbers top mounting in place. It certainly was. Was it? Yeah. Oh, an inch thick, yeah. yeah. I suppose. I don't know. Very how, thick. I don't know how strong fiberglass is, I'm sure. Well, it's, it's very strong. I mean, they make a lot of sports cars out of fiberglass, don't they? No, I thought they use um, carbon fibre now. No. Carbon fibre is super th strong, isn't it? Yeah, but fiberglass is uh, very strong. It's all the same stuff, isn't it? That's just carbon fibre is just carbon. Lots of uh, ran do, randomly. Uh, the other sort stuff's of, uh, glass, isn't it? Randomly sort of placed in the mix. Yeah, carbon fibre is very strong, but it's, it's not the ultimate, is it? Well, I don't know. Kevlar's stronger. You've probably got something better than Kevlar now. Oh, they will have. Whatever they make. Uh, you can probably get a bulletproof vest now that's like the size of like a Primark t-shirt and it'll stop like a fucking sniper around at 20 oh, miles. Okay. Have you been studying this for when you joined the SAS? No, I'm, I've, to, I've told them I'm not going there. Oh. I haven't got time. But I've been reading a lot of um, Lee Child. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Robert Cray and now I'm on Michael Connolly. So All right. And I've been watching Manhunter. No, um, Homeland, so I'm an expert okay. on snipers. and. All right. Armed forces and things. So you, you've you've run the course now, have you? Yeah, I'm as good as trained. With reading them books, you've uh, done the course. Special forces. I'm as good as yeah, yeah. Special forces. So you you know all the tricks. In fact, I was going to start a new band now. I'd call it Special Forces. Yeah. Carl Morton Special Forces. Yeah. You sure it wouldn't be Special Force Guns? <laughs> um. Somebody also made a comment about one of your videos the other day about it being a shambles. Your it's workshop, and I, to be. no, but I said, I think I replied, you actually had a band called Shambles. Didn't I you? did. Yeah. Was it a comedy show, or was it like you were co comedic but without trying or realising? Uh, Can't remember. Okay. No, no, it, all it was, it was a shambles. Uh, seriously, it was a, a band we put together quickly. Why? Obviously, because. What was the, what was the reason for the speed? Uh, right, I think it was May. Uh, the girl, keyboard player, she was just learning to play keyboards. Yeah. So uh, we were living together. Oh, yeah. And so I, I tidied out my um, outhouse, my side room, you know, the, the lean to, and set her up in a key, with a keyboard in there. And she used to come home from work and go and oh. practice. But she's delighted with that room. Well, it was nice. What, like a lean to? You've got a, ra no, single you've got a radiator in there. And oh, really? It was, yeah, it was part of the house. Nothing, just really. off the kitchen. Okay. And uh, so, yeah. And it, in fact, I set up my, my workshop in there after. Was the keyboard covered in chip fat and oil? Oh, don't be so silly. You come out with some shit, don't you? All those chips, fish, and burgers used to live off years ago. Oh, 
What did you spell? Was, that was my thin period. Yeah. I didn't let off anything Dog. in them days. <laughs> Dog. Uh, that was me jiggle. Dog period. shit and chips. Dog shit and chips. That was when I set me fuck. Now I'm going. What did you say? Uh, Twenty death. No. Well, yeah. First time. One of the first time I met you came into the workshop. You said I think it was uh, either fucking Bowers or Peg. You went. You go to the shop. Uh, get us. Forty death. Yeah. Dick, shit, and chips. Yes. So I said to somebody, "What the hell is he talking about?" <laughs> and they said, uh, "Sausage, chips, and gravy. <laughs> no, sausage, chips, and curry sauce." Yes. Yeah. And forty cigarettes. Yeah. What was that? Dick, dick, shit, and chips. <laughs> <laughs> It would be great if you went, went into like a chippy now and went, uh, dick shit chips please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she can't get away with anything anymore. We should, somebody should probably film, they should go around lots of chip shops in Stoke-on-Trent and just say, I'd like dick shit and chips please. <laughs> and find, just find one chip shop that says, uh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's got to be one. Yeah. Wouldn't bat an eyelid and just yeah. serve it up. Yeah. yeah. So that's that stage so far. Uh, another wall, not one. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm telling it's you. Cutting half. No. Oh, it's just a pencil line. Oh. It's a pencil. Uh, I'm thinking of actually putting a red stain in this. <sighs> I know. Risky, isn't it? Because it's so lovely. If I was you, I'd just do. It, um, oh, natural. Yeah, you don't want to mess with it, do you? You can't be that bored that you're going to like sort of fuck no, up like no. lovely walnuts. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. You must be out of your mind, Doug. I uh, yes, I am out of my mind. I wouldn't want to be hanging around with people like you. Well, I'm the one that's talking sense here, so. You've never talked sense in your life. Well, I am now. I had two customers coming the, the other head, day. Careful that headstock. And uh, they said, what a sarcastic bastard that bloke is who does your videos. Don't be silly. So he is such a turd, isn't he? Did they call me sarcastic? They did. Well, that's the whole point of it. <laughs> now think? then, which one? This is the question. Which neck? Hang on, but what did they say about you? Oh, they don't tell me to my face, will they? Yeah, but the, what they said behind you. They'll call me a right worse. turd, won't they? I'm just tickling the conversation along. You're the one with all the uh, extreme foul language and terrible fuck off terrible uh, subject matter tales riddled with all sorts of <laughs> politically non-correct sort of uh, details only when I'm off camera mm. you're yeah. still, still going for that knighthood are you? sorry? yeah I'm going for that knighthood yeah right then um, well straight away it's no brainer it's got to be that one yeah I thought so myself anybody with a brain knows that yeah it's got to be the Thebony hasn't it you know why, don't you? Beautiful piece of wood. Yeah. That is as well on the neck. Con contrast with that colour. Yeah. Would go great with that ebony. Yep. Plus, yeah. nobody in the right mind can turn their nose up at an ebony fretboard. Some people don't like ebony fretboards. Well, they're just fools. They don't deserve to play they, guitar. They, they, they like uh, maple fingerboards. They should have their arms uh, severed instantly, so they can no longer play any guitar. Are you listening to this, Jess? <coughs> Verbal diarrhea coming out of the camera, what? man. Is, does she play uh, maple fretboard? Is that yeah. the worry right now? Yes. So there we go. So that's the guitar that I'm going to... Think it'll fit in the hole that you've cut? No, I can't tell yet. Well, I've got that stuff hanging over. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So... Uh, Very good. It should do. I don't see why it won't do. What you should do with that, though, I, I'd, I'd sort of make it known that you, you've got it for sale. But then, personally, I think you should let a customer come in and say, yeah, I like the idea of that. But I like a D-neck, or like a C-neck. Like you did, when you or didn't like know fucking neck. better, and you had them great big thick necks, and now you want them thin like they should be. No, I had that one uh, on my telly, yeah, I had to take it down a tiny bit, only a little bit. But it went, but that went down to more like a sort of a, a sort of fendery sort of C. So it's still a nice chunky neck. Think of the positive, Doug. Stop being negative all the time. What? Me? Negative? Yeah. Is you this bloody negative? Oh, no, I've come in here quite cheerful, actually. Oh. I've got toothache, actually. Oh, I'll soon sort that out. Uh, soon drag you down to my level of misery. No, you're okay. Even though I've got your uh, 
Mr. Grumpy Cup on the go. The my what? Mr. Mr. Grumpy. Mr. Grumpy, yeah. Yes. So yes, I think I think you're quite right. The ebony is lovely, isn't it? Yes, plus it's, uh, it's Macassar ebony, this. Otherwise, was that other one sort of Indian rosewood or something? Yes, Indian rosewood. Well, it's too close to the ebony, the colour. They're, they're lovely woods, I use lovely woods. I notice on a lot of, if you look at, if you're just messing around board, some of the sort of newer guitars and get things like Music Man, like the Lukes and stuff, they all use Indian rosewood. I think that's the new sort of hardwood. Indian rosewood, wood, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's probably... It's still plentiful at the moment, yeah. that's why. There'd be about 20 trillion trees in India, aren't there? Yeah. Uh, you can cut them down about a thousand a day and it'll still be enough uh, in, in, I hope in, not. in a million years. I hope years. they're not cutting a thousand trees down a day because they're, they're, too, they're slow growing, remember? I'm not quoting exact figures here, Doug. No, well, don't. It's just get me depressed thinking of all them lovely trees dying. Any excuse? It hurts me every time I see a tree coming down. Oh, yeah. Mm. Really, it offends me. But didn't you cut that big tree down in your front garden? I cut seven ago? down. In my back garden. What, what a hypocrite. It was a tiny garden with seven fucking trees in it. You had a lovely little land I grew in front of your house. And, and that, that, them seven trees. We're fucking your house up beyond belief. Them set a funniest thing, you know. We cut one, uh, it was a big sycamore, and cut it down, and it fell. Because we were useless at doing trees and never cut trees down before. So it fell across the, uh, the fence between me and next door. And the whole, the top of the tree, obviously, of the leafy part, mm. completely blacked out her house. She was in the house and she said it suddenly went black. <laughs> <laughs> the next door? Next door. Well, at least it didn't cause any damage. Oh, no, it didn't cause any damage. I mean, it broke a panel in the fence, which I put right. That was yeah. all. It's probably so bushy, it wouldn't, it, have even, so it, it wouldn't have even knocked an old lady over, would it? No, it like didn't. It? it landed on a yeah. extension, kitchen extension. Yeah, it would just gently, gently lay down on the floor. Yeah, yeah. we soon cut it up and got it in the van. But it's still tree murder, and you're guilty of it. I couldn't have do anything else. It was too, it was too close to the house. Yeah, that's what fucking. So it was up. It was going to next stage. It was going to uproot the house. That's what serial killers say. Yeah. I didn't have any choice. Didn't. There was no choice. Same uh, rationale. Here, yeah. Between you, yeah. And nasty, yeah. Nasty killers. Yes. Yeah. Right. Never mind. I might just press pause here. Actually, um, yeah, press pause. Have a little break for a second. Uh, how's that coffee, Doug? Delicious. It's all right.
back point of the fretboard, yeah, yeah. It's going to be an inch thick, which is 25.4. That's correct. Why the inch? Is that what they are? Yeah, inch thick. Yeah, they worked in um, proper measurements in the old days. Mm. Probably still do in America. I've no idea why we've gone over to metric when uh, we never went over to all that. We're still in miles. That's the EU, isn't it, though, I suppose? Eh? It's probably the EU. It is, and the BBC always uh, talk in kilometres and things these days. I don't. I've never heard the BBC talking kilometres. Metric. No. There's still a healthy uh, imperial system going on in measurements in the UK. Give well, me there a should be. We never abandoned it, did we? Give me we? a pound of awful, please, Doug. We never abandoned it, did we? So we might, yeah, we might talk about ounces and pounds of offal and meat, but... You might talk about offal, nobody else does. We'll still discuss things in millimetres, so it's uh, best of both worlds, eh? It's uh, very hard. done the same thing with that other machine. Much finer. Ah. I was reaching on the wall then to turn it off at the wall, did you know? Oh yeah. Such a habit that is. Forgot you got your new switch. Yeah. Just a fraction under 26 now. Mm. So it'll need one more pass on this planer. Eh? On that one? Yeah. Fire it up then, eh? I'm going to, and then, uh, then we'll go up the sander and then I'll, I'll shape, well, I'll fret it and then I'll shape the fretboard. What are you doing? Down there? I know. <laughs> Yeah. Obviously, you're using that so you can get uh, an even spread of pressure on the uh, on the back as yeah. you're pressing it down. It isn't that good actually. It's supposed to grip really well, and it doesn't grip as well as this one. Oh, yeah. What's made. the surf What's the surface on the top of it? Let's have a look. It's Is it rubbery like... stuff. Oh yeah, just rubber. Yeah, soft rubber. Yeah, I see what you mean. Okay. I noticed down there you've got a nice little uh, pile of nice fine ebony dust shavings. Oh yeah, wood shavings. Aren't they of any use? No. Uh. They right. would be if they weren't contaminated with all the rest of the filth. Well, what could you use them for? Just filling little holes, eb holes in ebony it, yeah. and stuff, yeah. Should have kept it then. Oh, sorry, I've got plenty of ebony dust. Very good. When you're doing inlays, you always make sure you've got ebony dust handy. Jig jiggle a bit in the gaps. Yeah. Jolly good. Because uh, you can't do it without making gaps. Mm. Don't care how good a woodworker you are, there's always a gap. Otherwise, if you do it perfectly tight when you're doing an inlay, micro That's space for the glue. And what it happens is you push your, your little inlay in and it breaks. Yeah. Because they're very brittle. Because it's pearl, isn't it? And it's brittle. Yeah, plus you've got to get the glue in there, haven't you? So. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> So, this is almost to, to size now, mm. to work on, so, it's still just uh, just 26 now, but it's, uh, that's, it's just under 26 now, that's so fine that is, it's given, it, it's almost a, a, to a finish now, mm. now I've got to put the curve on. How are you going to do that? Uh, badly. You do it by hand? Yeah. 
I don't know, some, uh, I mean, let's look at the spec of some guitars, they say you've got a certain radius at a certain fret, another radius at another fret, then further up. Yeah, so that's right, yeah. You, you work, I work off nine and a half there. Otherwise known as compound radius. Compound radius, yeah. nine and a half there to 16 there. Yeah, what you do at the 12th fret? It, it, it follows line, you've got to keep okay. it in line, you can't have a different one. It just goes, so 12th, about the 12th fret, it's probably about 12 radius. And that works in inches. Uh, radius is, it's, uh, is it in feet? Sorry? Feet. Radius. Yeah, it's yeah, feet, yeah. yeah. Mm. Haven't you got like little uh, templates and things that you can use just to check that you've got it like yeah. nine as you're going along? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right by where you're standing. I've only got them recently, I never used to bother with things like that because I just you don't really need them you know normally Which oh hang on i've got my glasses on what are you talking about so we're talking about glue not being able to get it imported from america because you can't yeah. ship yeah they're, um, they're edge binding glue flammable materials well, anymore. Uh, yeah i can yeah. get tighter bond which is american glue well, which I is water-based isn't it oh well, there you go it's water-based glue so um you're talking about Mr. Burns, not from The Simpsons, but yeah. uh, Mr. Burns as in Burns Guitars. Yeah. I say well, I've exhibited when it's been. What? Uh, English, please. Been exhibit, you know, when you uh, go exhibited, to exhibit. Exhibited, yes. Yeah, not exhibiting yourself. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like as in exposing yourself. Yeah, you're just mumbling. Mumbling, I'm always mumbling. Uh, I mean, come on, we're waiting. Right. So, so I can't exhibit, remember where I, which exhibition place that we were at where he was on the opposite stand. I know we were somewhere, I don't know whether it was the EEC. Earl's yeah, Court or something like that. No, I think no. it might have been the EEC. EEC? Uh, we used NEC. to be called that. NEC, that's it. Yeah. Um, Come on, memory man. opposite um, Jimmy Marshall. He's a miserable swine. Not anymore. Oh no. Well, he's passed away, hasn't he? Was he miserable? Yeah, well, miserable sin. Yeah, but who wants to do an exhibition, Doug? Apart from like jaded sort of, yeah, he was on the stand on his own. Uh, makes him wonder who's on his fucking own. He was such a miserable punt. You had to cut that. You think he would have had? Uh, why? Oh no, no, no! <laughs> what are you telling me, early? You, you hypocrite! <laughs> you know what you are, Doug. Yes, an yeah, hypocrite. Scared of scared of what people think. Oh uh, yeah, no. You should I'm release not. everything uncensored. They can all fuck off. Jim Marshall, he's probably just a bit tired, wasn't he? I mean, we can all be a bit grumpy. I think he was in the grumpy as the uh, Van Morrison states. <coughs> well, nobody likes an exhibition, let's be honest. Yeah. Apart from the, having a few mates there. Yeah. Oh, there are horrible places, aren't there? Going out for Chinese at night time. Get to your hotel. Oh, Frankfurt was horrible. Went to when we did Frankfurt. It was a great place. Frankfurt. I must say, the exhibition place. Well, exhibition, will be. but the hotel. I stayed in, which was nice, it was a nice hotel, but the temperature was minus 17 because it was winter time, obviously, it wasn't, wouldn't be there in the summer. Yeah, it can get quite cold in Germany, can't it? Fucking hell, is it? Just a bit. <laughs> and they're, oh, you know. So you trudge back through the snow to your little hotel. Mm. Uh, there was, luckily, there was a nice Italian restaurant right by the hotel. So I had to have my tea there. Right by the what? The hotel? The hotel, yeah, the hotel. Okay. Yeah. Right, so, well, that's hang, hang, hang on, any other highlights of Frankfurt? Well, I can't remember. The show? Do you know, I really can't remember much about all that when Did we were exhibiting, because that was... This is the 1980s, you know what I mean? So I've, been, you, I've been asleep since. You were obviously there to try and meet suppliers and owners, owners of chains of shops and I things. I wasn't trying, we were doing it. No, what I mean, so you were there to sort of say... Yeah. You want 100 guitars a year, yeah. blah blah blah, and you want 50 yeah. guitars yeah, a year, yeah. yeah. You weren't just. You must have sold the odd one on the stand. Uh, yes, you do. Yeah, like a small selection. Yeah. Yeah. Did very well on the exhibitions. And then, depending on who took the money from your team, it either goes straight in the bar or it goes to your bank account. Oh, there was no money going into a bank account in them days. You were just fucking living hand to mouth trying to set up a business. You're not ever going to make any money out of doing guitars. You just, it's not possible. The whole music industry in this country in the 80s and 70s was turning over. The whole music industry, organs, pianos, sheet music, everything. 
every kind of music shop you can imagine, the whole country was turning over the same amount as one London Tesco. No. Yes. Mind you, no. I'm telling you. What? P p over what period? Over a year. Over what? a year. Bullshit. I'm telling you. No, I, I did the research. A friend I of mine used to manage Trent Vale Tesco years ago. They're not talking like, about Tres Trent Vale. I'm on about fucking London one. Yeah, but I'm saying the, the, the Trent Vale Tesco, probably about 30 years ago, he, he said, he told me on a Saturday it'll do a million pounds every Saturday and about 1.1 on a Friday. Yeah. Can you imagine any music stores doing anything close to that? All of the music stores yeah, wouldn't do will, that. Yeah, but they all will do a year. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's Tesco doing a year, <laughs> though. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty, dirty bastard. Why don't you play a guitar? What's this you've made me? What's this shit? Yeah, you I think your, your tail's getting more fucking boring than mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm rubbing off on you. I'm going to check the, the, uh, the analytics of these videos. It's probably you gonna, can do. They're probably going to start dropping off. Yeah. They'll stop watching you and go onto my music videos and say, this is, this is it. This is what we're after. Fuck yeah. that Doug. He's out. <laughs> He's out. Okay. You so, don't know what I was doing while you were out of the room. I've started fretting the, fret cutting the, uh, the neck. The ebony neck. Yeah, you've done one fret. You've done so, one? I've done one, yes. That's a start. I was disturbed. That's a start. What, by uh, I know, I just am disturbed. <laughs> you were disturbed by uh, yourself. You, just you were distracted. You decided just to go off. Where is it? Yeah, I've lost it. I've lost it. Hang on. Do you want to do that on video? No, hang on. I've lost the. Uh, I'm zooming in. Oh, hang on. Let me. Uh, do you want the big lights on or something? We've got enough light. Go on then. Fire away. Just try not to get your body in the key. Just a bit of wax. The motor I use in this is not very powerful. Well, it doesn't need to be. It's only cutting about a millimetre of wood out, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite some. I take it that's a fender scale then, obviously. Yeah, 25 and a half. So what you do is you want to do a Gibson to turn that thing round. Yeah. So the mandrel. Yeah. yeah, it's got a 20, 34 inch fender. 25 and a half inch fender, that's fender base. Oh, base. Fender, fender guitar. guitar. And then Gibson on the next one. And we've got another three if you want to drill them. Just extend it away so I've it drilled. Oh, right. Are there any other scale lengths in guitars? Yeah, millions of them. Oh. So not like a baritone guitar, is that the same scale, scale length as either like Gibson or Fender, but it's just a eight strum? No, different. Hey? Different again. Different scale length? Yeah. What scale length is that? I don't know. Uh, they're not all the same. It's like Paul Reed Smith guitar has a 25 inch scale. So what's the difference between, say, a 25 point whatever it is for Fender? And a Fender baritone guitar. I don't know. Just the way the guitars are strung. I don't know. I've got to be honest, I can't remember. I've done all sorts of scale lengths over the years. What's the name of the guy again who made this? Oh. Uh, Oh, it's Mr. Dix with his dad, Stuart. Stuart yeah. Dix. Was he keen to make it? It was a challenge for him. Did he enjoy it? I don't know. It was a challenge for him because, you know, it was, but he's got an engineering company. All these holes and everything else were made on a, a CNC machine. Oh, really? Million what? machine, yeah. I didn't think they had CNCs all those years ago when this was made. They did. Um, yeah. This has got to be 40 years old. Yeah, well, 35. When I was going to set up in North Wales, 
Oh, with Branson? Yeah. We were again have two CNC machines in the back. Oh, right. So, yeah, it's been around quite a while. Uh, well, it just would have been quite expensive then. So. That was late 70s, early 80s, that was. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that saw sure won't come over, won't pull over yeah. until this is locked in yeah. and pressed in properly. It's a very sophisticated machine, even though it looks a bit crude. Yeah. I think you missed something here. You know what you should do when you're doing frets? How you doing that just? You did a little uh, ship's captain's hat on. Look, got a reel there. Oh yeah, the ship's reel. Yeah. And you should both say, oh hey, every time you're doing the press. Ahoy there, top press. You know, you're not quite right in the air, are you? You saw a light in the day up there. Captain Dirk. It's a remarkable machine. I, yeah. I found a picture of it after the fire. And it didn't look like it was rescuable. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but... Chrome and solid... Well, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's all stainless. Yes, it's a polish. Yeah. All the bearings are phosphor bronze. So okay, it's accurate to 10 cell. What did you do with this throw? Just make boxes. You can just make a box. It takes about three days to make one. Some of them. And then do it by hand? Yeah, just saw uh, across the box. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's dead accurate. Just takes a while to make them. When you get a special order in, I have to make, I have to work out the frets, the measurements. It's 1.0594643. The, um, maybe I'm supposed to be spraying guitars today. I know something else you're supposed to be doing as well. Is that it, huh? oh, I on. think so, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Could be that elusive uh, 11, 21 four, fret telecaster. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, 21, I think. It's right, anyway. 21 frets for a 22 fret guitar? Yeah, that's it. So there's the frets cut. Not bad, that dog, not bad at all. Yes, it's very good. It's a great machine. I mean, I th it was a fair old fit that, that they got these two stainless bars perfectly in line because yeah. if they weren't, it wouldn't go or yeah, anything, yeah, yeah. it would just go, it just lock up. So, you see, um, see the sleeve that goes around the stainless bars? Yeah, that. He must have made that. Must have fabricated that. Yeah, he's made that. that, he's fabricated that, and it's, I say it's got phosphor bronze bearings, bearings inside. inside. And everything has to be perfect, it won't work if it, won't work if it isn't. Do you, do you not have to sort of uh, grease, grease it up every now and then? No, and never. Then? Never? No, never have to do anything. I wipe it some, with the dust. And I think it's uh, a lot of the time I'm wiping, it's just caressing it really, because it feels so nice, it's so well built. It's disgusting. I know. It's just tactile. Something like that, yeah? Yes. Fine. No, I haven't done uh, them. No, not that. I'm talking about my guitar. I want to go around with my guitar. Well, they're in there. I'll, well, set them up. I'll take one of them tonight. We'll do I'll one. Set them up. Yeah, well, no. yeah, I'm going to play them, then we'll just adjust them. Don't forget. You don't need to adjust them, they're perfect. They're not perfect. We've had this discussion before, so stop being awkward. They're perfect. Right then. Uh, by the way, have you had a chat with uh, our mate? Who? From Canada? No. He's, I thought he was messaging you. I thought he was getting in touch with me. He said he was messaging you. He hasn't. He's as bad as each other. Oh, that lad from... Um, from... Ireland got in touch with me, phoned me up, Finlan, or oh, Finton. Oh, Finton, Finton, yeah. Uh, well, he sounds great fun. Uh, 
Sam can go over to I've never been to Ireland. I was saying to him, I've never been. He says, oh, I'll take you out. Says, You've never been to Ireland? Never. It's like Alan Partridge. It's only £49 to get across. And he must say, yeah, that's what's always put me off. <laughs> no, I've just never been. I've Have never... You? What I've always wanted to go as well. What part of Ireland is he? He's in South or the North? Dublin. <sighs> you, you won't come back alive. He looks like Les Godfrey. How oh, does he? Yeah. Must be the standard uh, luthier. No, he isn't a luthier, is he? Isn't he? I thought he was. Oh. No, he's got. He's, give me the, the the name of the the bloke in uh, in uh, France, France that yeah. makes machine heads. Yeah. And makes these kind of things. Yeah, he makes them anyway, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, and he makes the machine heads. Hmm. It's the very top quality, apparently. Mm. They look the they look the part. Yeah, I went on the site myself uh, before I yeah, emailed the part. I can't. Uh, uh, it was all in French. It, what did, was it all in French for you? Yeah, I did look for a quick uh, sort of. Um, yeah, uh, what's her name, Elaine, to look at it, then just do Google Translate. All right. Piece of cake. Yeah. You'd be looking at English. Uh, That's for me uh, kitchen. Blink of an eye. Great. What, do, what, what are you going to do in the kitchen with this? Uh, I'm in the bathroom. Well, I've got a few oh. uh, breakages in the uh, sealant. Have you? Yeah. Pardon me. So I thought, oh, uh, it's harder to bend over in this big fat stomach. It will be, won't it? Yeah. At least you'll always be able to walk upright easier. Yeah, okay. Look, it's uh, half past four now, so you just have a play of that. A play? Have a play of that for a second, and then we'll get move on to my strat. The one thing slot I didn't have done is the uh, this this one. What are you doing now? I'm cutting the nut slot. Ah, oh, see, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. Mm. We left the radio on as well. Fortunately, I don't think we can hear it. No, it's very low. Mm. Yep. Some more on that area will do, Doug. No, listen. It'll be perfect when it's done, but it's just um, sliding around a little bit for some reason. It's don't know whether it was that wax I was putting on before. You go blaming your tools. No, I want to cut the hole anyway. Do so I do it for you? Yes, I do. I really need you to do Let's it for me. Get it me. done right. I'll get me out the shirt. You go take a comfort break. I'll whip that out for you. Yeah, now you will. Are you going to cut all the way through the fretboard there? Or mm, no. Just a little bit. I thought you said you were inundated with repairs. I don't see that many here. Uh, well, it, it isn't so much as inundated. I've got that one to spray now. I've oh. been doing the collar. Um, this one's to spray. That's to spray. That black thing there's got to be sprayed yeah. and edged so down. Mean, yeah, yeah. Anything that's more than 100% capacity is over capacity, isn't it? Let's mm. be honest, yeah. So I've got loads Maybe of that, things yeah. to do. Uh, mm. So, and that, why is that lip fell over? That's it. Just show us that tool then for the, the radius so you can just check that, it, you know. They're just different radiuses. I've got everything from 7 and a quarter mm. up to 20. So at the bottom is going to be nine and a half. Nine, nine and a half, half. Nine and a half. So nine and a half. Let's see what that looks like on, on the neck. Put well, it it's nowhere near yet. Yeah, no, but let's just see what it's, so we can see how it should. Because don't forget, most people don't know any of this, so. Okay. It's, it's not, it's quite fine though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah and then you, I go up to 16 there. Which is that one. Yeah. And that's. See, that's even flatter, isn't it? That's flatter, yeah. You see, um, I would have thought this neck, a neck, like a strat, uh, Telecaster type neck would be much more uh, curved. Hey? Much more curved. Well, they are seven and a quarter originally. That's why oh, I've got right. a seven and a quarter gauge. Ah. And that's why you're always choking off up here when you're stretching. Straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it depends. Right. Most maybe some people don't really go above like uh, the twelfth fret, do they? With some fenders and things. I think they do. I think they do. Well, you just have to have a higher action then, don't you? So that you don't um, you don't choke the things. Hmm. So 
why are you specifically going for a flattened fretboard? It's um, it's a really, really good compromise on fingerboards. That is the answer. G the Gibson one's a 12 inch radius, all the way. 12 inch radius. All the way? Yes, all the way. They're not compound radius? No, it's a 12 inch oh, radius. Right. Didn't realise that. Now I've got a sanding block that's 12 inch radius. I wonder what things like, mind you, Ibanez's, these sort of faster, uh, what do you call them, like uh, speed guitarists, they're probably I've got a nine and a half inch radius there. That's a, that's a seven and a quarter radius. You can see how little I use them. Uh, there's a 12 inch radius, that's, uh, that's a Gibson radius. Hmm. Do you make these yourself or do you buy them? Like no, I bought them. Yeah, might as well. They were, cut, they were on an offer, so I bought them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't use them, I hardly ever use them, so I don't know why I bought them really. Just to have, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, I know it doesn't need sharpening, I've only just sharpened it, so it just won't set in a bit more. I don't, I don't like taking too much off with ebony because it'll start shattering. It's better to do this sometimes on the fa on the belt sander down there. Mm. Belt sander thickness razors. Very good. stock bit and wobbling a bit too much. So I've just gone out of line for some reason, I don't know why. Okay. No, no, it's normal. I'm, it's normally been set up. It's, it's just been juddered against something. Have you missed, have you missed your monthly maintenance day? Mm, quite a normal kit and so super sharp. Mm. With them having to work with such hard wood. And it's taking quite a bit off, look. It's just, mm. it just, just doesn't sound like it is. That's correct. <sighs> yes. No, it's still mm. on the edges. You know, I never used to, I didn't have any gauges when I used to. Did them before, I just did them by eye. Mm. And I think I'm probably better off. I'm only using the gauges now. I'd normally just check them when I've finished because I normally got them right by the end. Yeah, but if you use a gauge, then you're, you're a bit more confident that you've actually got it right. Oh, no, but I was confident I'd got it right before. I had the rotten gauges. Now they, they make you feel, oh, I've got to check it all the way. Yeah, but that's not. There's no problem with that though, is there? It's nice wood. Mm. The best thing for fingerboard to clamp them up in mm. is either that vice there, but it's a bit high then, yeah. or the old um, workmates. Black and Decker workmates? Yeah, because they, they, they tilt. I've got a couple of the uh, ones underneath there. Just the, the workmate bench top ones. Oh, yeah. So it's great, it just sits there and it'll clamp both sides 
without too any pressure and digging into the wood or anything. Why don't you make something that you just uh, put a couple of big massive dowels on the bottom that just that it just slots into there? Oh, that'd be too easy. Give us something to do. You probably enjoy making that component this is, this is more than making the neck. This is the bottom if you want to have a look. It's getting there now, as you can see. It's, it's not. There. It's not quite there, but it's, it's, it's getting, getting there. there. Yeah. But it will be exactly 16 when I've finished. Jolly good. Yeah. So in theory, can't you do measure sort of halfway? Whatever fret that is, then it should be like. Uh, That's pretty close as well now. Yeah, it's not bad to that. Not bad. Not bad. A little bit more. It's coming on. So half distance, what would that be then? It'd be like uh, uh, 13 and a half, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, but it's just sorry, about half, uh, 12 and a half. Could be 14. 12 and a half. 14. Oh, you've got 12 and a half. 14. So 14 probably about the 12th fret then, wouldn't it? Wouldn't yeah, it? that's about the 12th fret. It's about there and 14 is it. Uh -huh. <coughs> Well, there you go. You know yeah. what? I haven't had a biscuit today, Doc. Hey? I haven't had a biscuit. It's about time I started chomping on a. Well, I know uh, that on this. I know in this lockdown, I've put nearly two stone on. I'd have thought more three, to be honest. Sorry, you cheeky twat. <laughs> Mind you, I feel like I put three on. I'm only kidding. No, it don't matter. I feel like. I, feel I thought. Like uh, I thought you'd actually lost a bit of weight, to be honest with you. No. You look a bit thinner. No. You must have been. You must Just have been mega gaunt. fat. No, it's the fat that's Before. pulling my skin down and making my face look gaunt. Uh, you're worrying too much, Doug. Yeah. I'm going to make another drink. How's that cold girlfriend of yours? Still cold. 16. 16, you say? I'll just show you. It's 16. Oh, that's 20, sorry. There it says 16. Time is money. That's almost it. Just a little bit more now. Not bad, not bad. That's no, no, it'll be dead bob on. It'll just keep going with the sander now. Because I don't want anything, I don't want anything to be cutting into that yeah. finish now. Dead so bob on. Just sand it. That's a spirit, Doug. Very good. You've taken that shim thing out then? Yeah. I've taken it down. Okay, not then. But you have to you do that with the with the shim, via the shim. It's it's wood. Yeah, well that's what I mean, but a wooden shim, yeah, just to Yeah. Did you put that in? Yeah. Okay. That should be okay. Okay. If you've put it in I can string it up. It's it's missing. Oh, I'd like to say oh, I've see. stolen it, but I haven't. So I need one still. Oh, that looks lovely, Doug. Looks lovely. Okay, you can do the rest then. Thank you very much. Probably too low, yeah. Like, it plays nice. See, this is with it being a roller, I can't. So, when you do that, or is it not maybe in the curve of the neck or something? I don't know, let's have a look, as it settled. It was, it was pretty good when I did it. It's, it's not bad at all. It's to resettle. It's really getting there. Just seems, just seems like, maybe you could just do it a tiny bit more. No, it wants a bit of a curve taking out. Yeah, maybe, but you can stick it in the end, can't you, without uh, taking the anything off. So, just try that for a second. Just pull the thing out. Why have you, why have you done that instead of having it? That's how I like it. Are you mental? You are mental, you know. You're not right. Have you heard the magic I produce? So it possibly works for me. This fucking mental must go. So I've record, recorded me there. Let's do the bit. Douglas! I say you've done a very fine job of that guitar, yeah? Yeah. It's very nice. Good. 
very happy. Marvelous. Happy customer, happy happy client. Yeah. Bet you're gonna go to bed feeling good. No. No. Right then. So what are you doing here then? Well, I'm just. Um, you see now that's it's a lovely fit. I mean, it isn't finished. The fit isn't. But it's a lovely fit. But you can't have it like that. Because if you make it nice fit, mm. then when the paint goes on. Yeah. Paint? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Lacquer. Yeah. Uh, you're fucked. Well, why don't you just uh, sand it down a slightly bit? I but have to. Sorry. I have to, but then it's a loose fit and it, it always annoys me. Sorry, sand it down a little bit where it's going to make contact with That's the body. That's right. That's what I do. Oh, yeah. I'm saying it's nicer when you make them and it's a lovely fit and you think, oh, it's lovely. And then you've got fucking ruined the fit for the paint. Yeah, but you're not ruining the fit, are you? You're making the fit right. Well, yeah. yeah I should that. just glue it on. Well, why don't you just... Um, it's all right. I'm only I'm on you bumping me gums. Lacquer's not that thick, though, is it? It is. How oh, thick's lacquer? Oh, I put so much on. Yeah, but how thick will it be? <laughs> it's very thin. It'll be fine. Maybe we can just put this down to the... Uh... It's alright, I haven't finished sanding this, so when I've sanded this to fit properly... So you're not just moaning? I'm just moaning. Uh... Hmm. There's a little lump there. A lump? Yeah, it's only a little lump. Is that excessive glue? It is. So you're going you're gonna to scrape that off? Obviously before you... Of course you, uh... I am, yeah. What would happen if you just like um, oiled, waxed that top? Nothing would happen. No, I mean, it would just be an oiled finish. Would it look nice, I wonder? It would look nice, it'd look lovely. But it looks nice when it's lacquered. So mm. it's, a, it's a tricky one. I think I've done them for bases where they've been oiled yeah, yeah. and bases, waxed. Bases tend to be often the base players uh, they like waxing don't they they like wax bit bases yeah and I said so do I I'm with them on that I still think with this guitar what you should do is make it available like it is and say that you you can now change the spec the client can add the uh, the spec that they want yeah that'd be good client yeah the customer you're gonna sell it to okay because client sounds like they're visiting a prostitute doesn't it It's not that good. <laughs> Don't be coming around here to pick up the goods. Yeah. Um, yeah, because you never know. Somebody might say, "Well, I want gold hardware, uh, chrome hardware. I'd like these certain pickups. I want these specific pots. Uh, frets. What kind of frets do they want on it? Finished. No, I'm just saying, like, sort of, you should be open to the client's request for finishing the guitar off. No, I am open to the client's request when they're coming in to order a bass or guitar. Well, has anybody ordered a, a wall Nobody's ordered telly? this. Yeah, well, if I was you, I'd hang it up now. Just do what you've got to do, hang it up, make sure people know that it's available. And then if somebody says, I'd like that. But no, what? no matter what I do yeah. to it, uh, where I stage I leave it to, mm. they'll always want something else. Yeah, exactly, yeah, so I'm just... No, I'm saying, but they'll want a maple neck. So if somebody wants other things on this guitar, I'll make them another guitar. This is going to be this, and I'm going to make this complete with bare knuckle pickups. Very nice, Doug. Very good pickups. Very nice. It's having bare knuckle pickups. It's being chrome. It's having bare knuckle pickups. CTS pots. Hmm. Okay. I, th I think gold might be quite nice. Of course it is. It's lovely. Gold. Yes, but I'm doing this chrome. Why? Are you ordering? Is this is this a firm order, sir? I can't afford. I've got a job, Doug. You've got loads of money in the bank. I only come up here to keep you mentally stable. You come it's up like here charity to work. keep warm, I reckon, and charity drink me coffee work. and eat me biscuits. That's why you come up here. I've even had a couple of your chocolates. Quality streets, I'm going to you. Well, they're not mine, they're not mine. Oh well. Um. Yeah, I need to get the firing when I get her back. Yeah, it's going to go colder this week. Yeah, I don't mind. I've got the ability to hit the house, Doug. Yeah, I know, yeah, but only when Carrie's not there, though. Because <laughs> you charge her for having the heating on, don't you, when she's there? Charge her. Jesus. 
she's got got it. Money. She has to put money in the meter, doesn't she? She doesn't know she's got it. That, mm. that lump's gone now. That lump's gone? Yeah. Yes, don't need to sand that now. Mm. <sighs> so now it's having 2.7 fret wire. Uh, okay, I accept that. That's good. Good choice. What height, Doug? Uh, 1.4 is this? Doug, think. see, you're on board now. You're on board. That's the kind of frets we want to hear you putting in. Good. Yeah. Plus, there's a bit of a, it's a bit of. A, uh, I think there's a bit of. If you look at new guitars online, if you're just messing about, a lot of them tend to have like jumbo frets now. Seems to be like sort of standard. I think a lot of people are fed up with them tying a little thin fret wire that just wears out in about two minutes. Mm. Okay. I can't see. I can't see any benefit to it myself. The two, two. It's okay on an acoustic, but I can't see much benefit myself. But I'm used to thick fret wire, so mm. that could be me. Could be you. Yeah. Ah. But today I've done quite well. I've shaped that fingerboard. I haven't, I haven't finessed it, but I've shaped it. Sorry. And it says 9.5 there, 16 there, radius. You've even put the dots in. I put, I put the dots, side dots and top oh. dots, and the mother of pearl. We're going to say, oh. Yeah, the pearl. Upgrade, eh, Doug? No, Upgrade. you've got pearl on some of your guitars. I don't know whether you're slapping plastic in, I don't know, but... No, yeah. I don't slap plastic in everything. I oh, know you don't. I thought you didn't put plastic in any of them. No, no, some guitars uh, look right with plastic. I mean, all the lots of the Gibson ones are plastic inlays. They, but these are mother of pearl. Mm, very nice, very nice. Hmm. Yeah. You're not considered like a slither of walnut on here. No, wow. I think I think it's a bit crass sometimes on telecasters. It's, yeah, you might be right there. I think yeah. telecasters just look nice as they are, especially when it's such a nice piece of wood. If you look at it, it's bird's eye, mm. and it's got some beautiful figuring, and that'll come out in the headstock as well. Just covered in shit at the moment. Let's try and uh, try and emulate that sort of roasted effect that's quite popular at the moment. Oh, I know. It does look quite nice. I know the roasty ones, but they look like a brown wood then. They look like you've got a guitar with a, a mahogany neck. No, I don't know. Not, no, no, because no, it's still obviously maple, a figured maple. It's just like being uh, put in the oven for a bit, isn't it? Mm. But, uh, I don't know whether I like it, the roasted uh, roasted woods. No, just, I've got some. If you notice, um, yeah. I've got some sent from America. What's the name sent them to me? Andrew. Andrew Drake. Uh, Got, he, makes, he makes great basses, he does. He makes lovely basses. Let's look at your roasted wood. Oh, it's amongst all that crap over there. In the shambles? In the shambles, yeah. Okay, forget it then, yeah. Uh, um, what's he doing sending you wood? Did he send you some as a gift or...? Yeah, he did. He's a really nice lad, Andrew. Is. Andrew Drake? Yeah. Perhaps we should na na mention him on the video then, like we do with Les. Yeah. Andrew Drake. Andrew Drake, yeah. So I'll find his, his website address and I'll put it down the bottom. Yeah. Sort of here. Andrew Drake will be there somewhere. Yeah. What kind of guitars does he make? The basses, mainly. Oh, yeah. Just mainly. He does guitars as well, but mainly basses. Also, yeah. uh, on that note as well, you're still waiting to hear from Les. Yeah. Come on, Les. Les. Still waiting to hear from Les. And I need to hear from the uh, the Frenchman about the machinists for the Macca fucking ferry. You could always message Les, you know. You could message him, then he'll just reply to you. I will do. Yeah. I just, uh, I've got loads of things on my mind I've got to do. And then you end up doing nothing. Well, guilt can do that to you, Doug. I'm not guilty, why am guilt. I guilty? I know all the bad things you've done. All the bad things you've done and thought. Oh, you don't know half what the bad things I've done. Hmm. Yeah. I'm quite pleased with this. Um, yeah, very nice. It's it's reasonably heavy, actually. Ah, so you've obviously still got to do the gut cut. I've started it. It's a long job. So with that's my uh, file. I'll be using that to do that with. Mm, a rasp. It's not a rasp, is it? It's it is almost a rasp. A rasp, yeah. a rasp yeah, it is a rasp. So that's. Um, I've got. Um, is it all there, or is it? Uh, it's uh, poplar. Poplar. Hmm. Yeah, there's quite a bit of um, 
Poplar. So what's Poplar similar to? Uh, is it like the European uh, version of Alder? Yeah, yeah, it's very similar to Alder. Similar weight. Uh, this one's quite heavy though, actually. So I think I'll have to take a little sliver off the back, and then a lot more out this cut. Why? Well, if, if it's that heavy, it's that heavy. You're going to send. You're going to say like one percent. I'm running out of battery, Doug. I'm running out of battery. Oh, you know. You need to say. Yeah, hey, look. I'm not lying to you. Look. Yes. <laughs> you need to say goodbye. Right. Uh, goodbye. Say goodbye, then we'll carry on if we can. Goodbye. Is there anything else you want to say? Fuck off. Can't you be a bit more sincere? <laughs> yes, yeah, so anyway. Hang on. I'll you... take another pound off the weight of this. Are you going to thank me for coming round? What's, that? What's the thank? Care in the community. You've driven me mad all day. Well, that's all in your head, not me, not mine. Yeah. Anyway, we've still, we still got some power. Go on, and you're saying. So, yeah, but if you take like 1% off, wait, why?